industry. Webster says industry is the process of making products by using machinery and factories, a group of businesses that provide a particular product or service, or the habit of working hard and steadily. But that's not how we usually use that word in Los Angeles. Here it means two things. Either it's a city you thought was going to be all big factories when you accidentally drove into it late at night from downtown because you got your directions confused when you had a car with no GPS. Or it's the entire LA entertainment business from obnoxious unpaid actors screaming in a black box about how much they hate their fathers, to you porn, to clown shows traumatizing kindergartners, to something a critic loves at the taper of the Odyssey, to the little busker on the promenade playing drums to his dad's recording of Sweet Child of Mine, to the burly guy done up as Marie Osmond on Hollywood Boulevard, to Kimye Gossip, Taylor Swift at Staples, yet another movie with Vince Vaughn fat and drunk, Big Sean's follow-up to I Don't Fuck With You, to the usher cleaning up your drool from when you dozed off in the back row watching uh, the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. They're all the industry. So how does that conflict with art? You see, on one hand, art's always been an industry. The first Neanderthal, who drew an exaggeration of how great a hunter he was, might have just been operating out of pure ego. But the first time another humanoid said, hey, Ugu, can you draw one of those for me? It became industry. The making of product using machinery through hard and steady work. Ever since, all the art we've known has been put out through industry, from the tribal weaver bartering a beautiful shawl for food, to Mozart and Haydn writing music their benefactors wanted, to me whoring myself up here in hopes she'll give my charity a few bucks and build my ego so I don't go home depressed and disappoint my beautiful date. So, I'll tell you a few thoughts about where art meets industry. <laughs> Here are some napkins and some pens. Please pass these out among yourselves so that everybody who doesn't have one has one. It should be enough, I believe. Everybody should have one of each. So my thoughts on art and industry. They say to get a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. They say if you can't make a steady living, you'll never get a husband or wife. They say that a true artist only tries to please himself. They say when Vincent van Gogh died, all his pictures were unsold on the shelf. They say that true artistic quality is determined by what lasts over time. They say it won't make any difference what you do if you can't earn a fucking dime. They say if actors get paid what they're worth, L.A. theater will die in its tracks. And they say the 99-seat plan's just a scam for schemers who don't write fair contracts. They say every kid has a dream that'll come true if they just hold fast. They say that life ain't a dress rehearsal and your youth and beauty won't last. They say art can create an industry like Griffith and Chaplin did. They say industry can create art like Mad Men and El Cid. They say industry can be art like Andy Warhol's suit cans. And they say art can be an industry like all those prints of Andy Warhol's suit cans. <laughs> they will tell you what's right or wrong with whatever you transmit, so they are clearly fundamentally wholly full of shit. Now, do me a favor. Hopefully they're out there. Grab a napkin, look at the person next to you, and take a minute to draw what you see. <laughs> Don't worry about whether it's good or not. Just tell your own truth. Go ahead. I'm just going to hum. What you see. Draw what you see. Draw what you see. Draw what you see. going if you're not finished. You see, truth is bigger than art. A spider builds a web. 
a sun sets, a flower puts out its scent, a baby laughs. None of those involve art or industry, but nothing is more true or beautiful. Art is great and magical, and a little self-centered. Industry is less soulful, but more about the other. What's better? What's worse? Art without industry is a tree falling in a forest with no one there to hear it. Industry without art is a mass-produced iTunes state-of-the-art recording of the forest where nothing ever happens. Okay, now give your picture to the person you drew. No matter how skilled you are at drawing, no matter how skilled you are at drawing, that picture is right now affecting them and changing how they will see themselves, at least to a minuscule degree, for the rest of their life. It's literally changing something about the makeup of their brain, probably in a few places. With just a pen and a paper, you performed brain surgery and altered something that you can never see or touch. Even the tiniest bit of art and a minute of industry, you can make a change in the world. Even if it's a lousy play in some crappy little eight-seat theater in the city of industry. And the very best part, if you do it from the heart, you'll make a change for the better with the industry of your art, as I shall now by ending this speech.